What's going on everybody? Chrissy the Slasher Dude back with a quick video, quick haul video, quick uh, collection update video. I uh, just came back from doing some um, physical media hunting in the wild as you can say. Um, went to uh, Wally World first, I had to get some work clothes and stuff like that and found something to pick up. I did have another item but that was not on file so uh, here we go again. So Walmart's kind of screwed me over like uh, for the second time. The first time was with the 4K of the Lion King. It wasn't on their file, so they couldn't give it to me. This one would be a double dip anyway, so maybe physical media gods are looking up there saying, no, 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 you don't need to have that. So well, I'll just start from the quick one I got at Wally World. Other of my stuff here. Let's do here. Uh, uh, Tiffany at um, Let's Get Cinematic. Uh, huge props to her. Go ahead and follow her. A uh, very cool lady. Um, she got a couple of these. Um, I didn't see the other one that you got, but um, they do have a version of, um, well, I'll just show it anyway. It's a Texas Chainsaw. So, um, Wally World got their Halloween um, physical media stuff out and stuff like that, too. So, they have their glow-in-the-dark uh, uh, DVDs and stuff like that, their slips and stuff like that. I'm not into that shit. Not anymore. It's like, I have enough, but you'll see what I purchased in a second here. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, I know more people get that, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I weren't into those. But I saw this here. It's our video that she got this. And I'm like, sure, why not? They also have another one, the slip of the, um, of the mist. I got the other version of that. Um, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Add it to the collection here. It's all the original cover right there. It has both the regular version and the uh, 3D version here. So if you have 3D glasses, shit, why not? Uh, pick it up. So not bad. Not bad prices, like below $20, definitely. Uh, spooky season is upon us, people. So yeah, there's that. Okay, then had a got a bunch of shit at um at Big Lots. Um, yeah, if y'all have a local Big Lots, go in that one. They got the spooky season stuff up, and they got some Blu-rays. They got some DVDs and stuff like that. And I purchased some. Average like most expensive one was like twelve dollars, I think, maybe less. Um, and um. Yeah, some great purchases, some surprising ones. So, yeah, I had a kind of field day over there at my big lot. So, huge props to them and stuff like that. So, here we go. First is this guy right here. Um, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. I thought this was a steelbook. Um, they had, a, they had like, one other one or two other ones. All had loose discs, like, shaking them and stuff like that. So, I can see why they knocked this down. So, this is, like, $4.99 or $5.99, something like that. I thought it was a steelbook. It's not. See that right there? So it's a metal book, I believe. And uh, there's some dents in it and stuff like that. And if you kind of can't see, like, little things. But I'll, you'll probably hear it when I open it. See that? You hear the snap? So Do do a Tony here from uh, Basement Blues. So Blu-ray disc. No scratches on it. And uh, more often than not, it could be some scratches on it. It'll still play. It, they're pretty tough. Just a quick inside of it, so. It's a pretty cool pickup for the price, and, like, why not? It is what it is. So this will be my uh, second metal book. Am I calling it that? Because the hinge is on here. <laughs> okay. That's mission impossible. Let's set this to the side here real quick. And my goodness. Uh, Annabelle Creation. Uh, the better Annabelle film. I actually like this one, of course, better than the first. I like the first. Um, good jump scares and stuff like that, too, but a lot of people don't, but they love this one right here. Yeah, Annabelle Creation. My boy Anthony, Cult of Chucky. <laughs> so, yeah, just five bucks, dude. I'm like, shit, why not? Unrated. Original uh, OG Jeepers Creepers. This version right here. I'm sure this came with a slip or whatever like that. I'm like, whatever. $1.99. Yeah, all kinds of goodies. And the first, uh, the Meg movie. So the first one. It's 5 dollars with Jason Statham, so need to watch this. And then eventually watch uh, Meg to the Trench. Uh, these are, I almost consider these uh, seeing uh, the uh, trailer for the Meg 2 and stuff like that. I'm thinking, dude, this is a kaiju. Straight up, dude. They could put this in the, in the universe, and sure enough, it is Warner Brothers. So yeah, so I consider the Meg in, in the kaiju universe has to be, so... Who knows? I don't, you know, I haven't I'll watched the Meg 2. I haven't watched this one, too. And these are, and this is based off the books. There's like three or four uh, novels that the uh, movie's based off of. So, there you go. The Meg. 
and a couple of DVDs here at Big Lots. Um, the remake of Night of the Living Dead done by Tom Savini. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray release of this, but I had to pick this up. Five bucks, why not? I've never seen this version. I heard it's really good, but um, yeah, sure. Um, no, uh, no extras on it. That's fine. So I actually heard it's I actually heard it's pretty good for what it is. So Columbia Pictures. So who knows? Maybe one of these days we'll get a book of it or something like that. So I have to check that out. Now the Living Dead remake. And they probably have these at big lots. Yeah, I paid eight bucks for this Damneville triple feature. So the original, uh, the remake done by Michael Bay, which I flipping forgot with Ryan Reynolds in it. It's terrible. Um, it's okay, but it could have been better. But it's Ryan Reynolds. You have to put him in something better than this. And number two right here that I'd be hoping Vinegar Syndrome has. Um, this is the second one, The Possession. This will be a first watch on my list, but I may just wait. But it's cool to have these, have this collection. Cool collection from, uh, yeah, MGM. So pretty cool collection. I kind of like these slim kind of thing covers and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the Amityville Horror Collection. And that's it, everybody. So a quick, uh, quick haul update. Do, do, do. There we go. Anyway, hope you all have a great day. Um, Pop some movie dungeon, Brad, uh, 4K10 revival are doing a uh, a stream later on today. Um, for bargain pickups for uh, physical media and stuff like that, highly suggest you all watch that. I definitely will. Um, they, those those dudes and the uh, ladies, everybody else out there in the community have awesome advice and they know what they're doing. Anyway, you all have a great day. If you could, slash the like. Uh, sleeping bag destroyed the, the subscribe and stuff like that. And I'll talk to all you awesome people later. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Bye.